Imagine discovering that a simple 1997 Lincoln cent could fetch over $1,000 at a coin auction. Well, that's exactly what happened. This particular cent is not just any old penny. It's a rare doubled die obverse, often referred to as the doubled ear. Take a closer look at Abraham Lincoln's portrait on the obverse side. Notice anything unusual about the ear? It appears to have an extra layer, a telltale sign of this specific error. Expert numismatist Kent Potter explains that this error features significant doubling of the, cur of the curl of hair above Lincoln's ear and the earlobe. The doubling is less apparent, but still present on the lock of hair in front of the upper ear and across various other parts of Lincoln's hair, totaling 15 distinct areas. The likely cause? a tilted die that only properly seated itself during the hubbing process. This fascinating error has been verified by experienced mint workers from both the Philadelphia and Denver mints. This exceptional MS-67 specimen recently sold for $1,120 at Heritage Auctions. If you own a 1960 Lincoln cent, take a moment to inspect the date. It might reveal whether you have a small date or large date variety, particularly important for collectors. For those struck at the Denver Mint, you'll find a small D mint mark on the obverse. According to numismatist Ron Guth, both the Philadelphia and, and Denver Mints produce these scents in both large and small date configurations. Identifying the differences between these varieties might seem daunting initially, but they are noticeable with some practice. The most apparent distinction lies in the numeral six. In the small date variant, the six appears thicker and the top segment of the six is much shorter than in the large date version. Additionally, if you imagine drawing a line across the top of the one and the zero in the large date, this line intersects the top of the nine, and more of the six protrudes above this line. While both types are relatively common, the small date is considered rarer and more valuable among collectors. For example, a small date 1960D Lincoln cent in the exceptional MS67 plus grade recently fetched $4,111.88 at auction, including the buyer's fee. This illustrates the premium that rare high quality coins can command among enthusiasts. If you're lucky enough to possess a 1977 Lincoln cent in an uncirculated pristine condition, sharp strike and full luster, it's highly advisable to consider professional grading. A superb example of this is a 1977 Lincoln cent that was graded MS-68 by PCGS and subsequently sold for $4,612.50 at a great collections auction. Although the 1977P Lincoln cent is relatively common, with the Philadelphia Mint having produced over 4.6 billion of them for circulation, finding one in such high quality is a rarity. Most coins of this year can be located in up to MS-67 condition without much difficulty. However, climbing to MS-68 or higher is a challenge. PCGS has recorded only 41 specimens at MS-68, with just three rated higher as of April 2024. Such exceptional grades can significantly enhance the value of what might otherwise be a common coin. This exquisite gem is a 1915 Lincoln scent that stands out with its wonderfully original mint color displaying vivid pinkish rose and medium orange hues. Rated at mint states 67 plus red, it is fully struck, showcasing a lovely satin to softly frosted texture. Both sides of the coin are silky smooth and nearly pristine. Despite being a product of the Philadelphia Elfia Mint with a mintage of 29,092,120 pieces, the 1915 Lincoln scent is surprisingly scarce in both finer circulated and mint state grades. This rarity is emphasized by the fact that PCGS has certified just five specimens in this outstanding grade, with only one achieving a higher rating. This exceptional scent fetched a remarkable $33,600, highlighting its value and desirability among collectors. An unassuming 1988D Lincoln scent might just be a hidden treasure if you spot a particular tiny detail on its reverse. To uncover this gem, you'll need strong magnification to closely inspect the FG initials, which stand for Frank Gasparo, the chief engraver of the U.S. Mint who designed the Lincoln Sense reverse. Pay special attention to the letter G. If it is distinctly flared or spread at the end, differing from the standard design, you've discovered the rare flared G variety. This unique variety is believed to have arisen from a different engraving punch used during the minting process, specifically for some coins in 1988. 
The punch for the FG initials had a wider, more flared tail on the G, a deviation from the punches used in other years. This small but significant difference marks the coins as a distinct and sought-after variety for collectors. A flared G, specimen in Mint State 66, fetched $1,519.88 at a great collections auction, vastly exceeding its face value. For those new to modern U.S. numismatics, a 1922 Lincoln cent might initially appear as a heavily circulated and worn penny, a reasonable assumption given its age. However, this particular coin, graded as Mint State 63 in red and brown by PCGS, tells a different story. Despite its seemingly worn features on the verse, it hasn't been circulated. The worn appearance is not due to circulation rub or wear, but rather due to what is known as strike softness, which is characteristic of this specific variety. This variety is famously known as the 1922 No D Lincoln scent with a strong reverse, utilizing dye pair two, the most sought after of the three known dye pairs for the 1922 No D scent. The absence of the mint mark on these coins is due to overzealous polishing of the obverse dye at the mint. Intended to remove clash marks, but also inadvertently softening the details of all other devices on the obverse. Conversely, the reverse dye was fresh, which accounts for the much sharper definition on that side, a hallmark of this dye pair. This MS-63 specimen showcases an old reddish-orange mint color, beautifully merging with warm tones of sandy brown, pale gold, and flint gray, enhanced by glints of salmon pink iridescence in certain lights, making it very attractive. This remarkable coin was sold for $24,000 at a Stax Bowers auction, reflecting its rarity and the peculiarities that make it highly desirable among collectors. And that wraps up our journey through some of the rarest and most valuable U.S. coins in the numismatic world. Each piece we've discussed today isn't just currency. It's a fragment of history, holding stories of minting anomalies and the evolution of coinage. If you enjoyed this exploration and want to delve deeper into the fascinating world of coin collecting, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more insights and updates on rare finds and valuable collectibles. We love hearing from you, so please leave your thoughts, questions, or what you'd like to see next in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy collecting until our next numismatic adventure.